and welcome to Runaway with Liz. And for today's episode, I am so excited to share the first installment of The Japan Files. In The Japan Files, I am going to be talking all about planning our upcoming trip to Japan. Name so because I have a literal file where I keep all of my information, itineraries, maps, all of the stuff for planning our trip to Japan. I'm a very tactile person. That's just how it is. We are traveling to Japan this fall to, among other things, hike the Kumano Kodo. If you don't know what the Kumano Kodo is, it is a Shinto Buddhist pilgrimage south of Osaka. It is a network of trails that travel to three different shrines made up of the Kumano Hongu Taisha, the Kumano Hayatama Taisha, and the Kumano Nachi Taisha. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of those names. I'm doing my best. Okay, and I want to take you along on this journey of planning a trip to Japan because I think that it's going to be a good example of what it is like for us to plan a trip to another country. We're planning this independently and we are traveling independently. And I think that can be scary for some people. So it might be informative and interesting to see how we go about it. And of course, we are not perfect. We are going to be making some mistakes along the way, but we'll see how this whole thing unfolds. Okay, so this is not actually a perfect example of a vacation planning process for us because even though we have never been to Japan, this is actually our second time planning this trip. I had this entire plan booked and planned for April 2020. Luckily, we were able to get all of our money back in the form of refunds or flight credits. And while it is sad to think that we could have gone on this trip already, it does mean that going into planning for this trip, I am not going in cold. I've already had the bones of this trip itinerary planned in my mind, and I don't have to research things like how many days to allow to certain cities or what are some must-sees that we should prioritize. And I've also already gone through all of the emotional jitters of the things that I cannot control and plan for. Hey babe, did you know there's bears in Japan? It says to bring a bear bell. Maybe we should bring bear spray too. I don't think you can fly with bear spray. I'm just gonna ask on an online forum. People always give reasonable advice on an online forum. Oh my god, there are poisonous snakes. Should we bring an anti-venom snake bite kit? No. Prevention is the best medicine. Wire cutter snake gators. So I bought these snake gators. One reviewer said that a snake got its fang stuck on the gator. That's how you know it really works. Oh, wild boars, that's what killed Robert Baratheon. Giant hornets, giant centipedes. We are going to die in the woods. And before we dive into the first step of planning for this trip, if you're enjoying this video, maybe you wanna consider subscribing to the channel. So the first thing to think about with planning for this trip is the flight. Once we had figured out what time of year we wanted to go and Tony's boss had approved the length of time that he was going to be taking vacation days, because this would be a significant length of time to take off of, for work, we went about looking for a flight to Japan. For the flight home, we're using some of our leftover Delta E credits from the April 2020 trip for a nonstop flight from Tokyo to Minneapolis. But for the way to Japan, we are saving a little money by using a positioning flight to get a cheaper fare from a different airport hub than Minneapolis St. Paul International, which is our normal airport. A positioning flight is basically finding cheaper fares by expanding your search to flights from multiple airports rather than just your home airport. Then you will purchase an additional ticket from your home to the city where your international flight is from. So for this, you are purchasing two separate tickets to your final destination rather than the entire trip from your home to your destination as one trip. If the two flights that you've purchased are part of the same airline, then it is possible to get these flights linked as one trip after you've made your purchases. So that's definitely worth a call to customer service to see if that's possible because that could mitigate any risks of delays and cancellations, which is a possibility with this method if you are using different airlines. So that first flight from your home airport is considered the positioning flight, like you are getting into position to 
take advantage of a cheaper fare. So for example, for us, we found that at the time that we purchased our ticket, it was significantly cheaper to purchase a ticket to Tokyo out of Los Angeles, plus another fare from Minneapolis to Los Angeles as two separate purchases rather than purchasing the entire trip from Minneapolis. So you might be wondering how we went about to find these cheaper fares for our positioning flight. We have a couple airlines that we prefer and we usually check those airlines every day. However, we also use a couple of resources to alert us to other airlines or if there are flight deals from airports we might not be considering. The first resource we use pretty regularly is Google Flights, including the Explore feature. The Explore feature is really cool because you can actually search for fares from an airport to an entire region rather than just from one airport to another airport. So we could search for fares throughout all of Japan rather than just one airport at a time. And if we were flexible with our dates as well, we could search for the cheapest fares to Japan throughout say all of May or even the cheapest fares during a an entire six month period and if you're less flexible you can sign up for email alerts for a specific flight date and Google will send you an email when that day's fare will go up or down another resource we use is thrifty traveler thrifty traveler uses Google flights as well and they will email you flight deals going on so they are basically doing the work of checking Google flights for you. There are three different subscription options, including the free subscription option, premium and premium plus. And of course the paid subscriptions will alert you to more and more personalized options. They'll text you when there's a mistake fair and they'll give you access to the Thrifty Traveler Facebook group where you can ask any airline related questions you have and, and people in that community can answer those questions for you. Um, and Thrifty Traveler was actually how we learned that there was a flight deal from Los Angeles to Tokyo and we snatched that up. So we are actually still on the hunt for our positioning flight from Minneapolis to Los Angeles. We're waiting for Sun Country to release their fall schedule and we definitely saved a significant amount of money by using the positioning flight technique. We'll see how it goes on the day but so far so good and that is all for the first episode of the japan files stay tuned because in the next episode i'm going to share with you how we have booked our kumano kodo experience all of the accommodations and meals and all of that and if you enjoyed this and you want to see more maybe think about liking the video and subscribing to the channel thank you so much for watching if you have any tips or comments about traveling to japan or finding good flight deals, feel free to leave that in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching everybody. Take care, bye. Yeah, I, I really did that. I bought two sets of snake gators and there's no way I'm packing these along to Japan.